Today we will discover the most incredible ancient weapons. Let's begin. Number 10. Bhagnak The Bhagnak, a formidable weapon from the Indian subcontinent, dates back to at least the mid-17th century. Its design was inspired by the deadly claws of tigers, a familiar danger in the region. The bagnark, similar to a knuckle duster, fits into the hand with a series of four or five sharp blades protruding from the palm, capable of slicing through skin and muscle. Its name, translating to tiger's claw in Hindi, was a favoured weapon among assassins who would often poison the blade tips. It was also widely used for self-defense by civilians and as a close-range weapon by warriors. Intriguingly, historical accounts from the mid-19th century describe claw wrestling events where Bagnark users, under the influence of hallucinogens, engaged in deadly battles to entertain royalty, often resulting in fatal outcomes. Number 9. Caltrop the Caltrop is a weapon whose design has remarkably endured for over 2,000 years. Still finding use in modern conflicts, these area denial weapons consist of sharp spines arranged so that one spike always points upward, with at least two others anchoring into the ground for stability. Initially deployed to halt the advance of enemy forces, especially those on horseback, in chariots or atop elephants, Caltrops were particularly effective in injuring animals' feet or damaging vehicle wheels. The Romans extensively used them to disrupt enemy movements, and similar devices were independently developed in Japan, Asia, and later found in the Americas, brought by European invaders. In the 20th century, including during World War II, Caltrops evolved to be made from reinforced concrete and steel, proving effective against pneumatic tires and, if sufficiently large, even against tanks and aircraft. Number 8. Patu The Patu is a traditional club-like weapon used by the Maori people of New Zealand. Its name translates to actions like strike, hit, beat or kill. This short-handled club was crafted from various metals including punamu, greenstone, whalebone, wood, rock and occasionally iron. Typically, a patu featured a small hole in the handle for attaching a wrist cord, allowing the wielder to use the weapon securely without the risk of losing grip. Despite their relatively small size, patu were dense and heavy, capable of inflicting severe damage. The primary offensive technique involved thrusting the patu at an enemy's temple, jaw or ribs to cause significant injuries. These weapons were highly valued, often intricately carved and adorned with symbols reflecting the warrior's battlefield achievements, making them treasured possessions. Number 7. Archimedes Steam Cannon Archimedes, the famed Greek mathematician, physicist and engineer, significantly influenced the defense of Syracuse in Sicily during the 3rd century BC. Among his numerous inventive weapons was the Archimedes steam cannon. This weapon consisted of a large metal tube, one end of which was heated in a furnace. A projectile, along with a small amount of water, would be loaded into the cannon. The water quickly turned to steam, building up pressure and propelling the projectile out of the tube with great force. This early form of a steam cannon was remarkably effective in repelling attacks, particularly against ships. Its impact was such that it inspired later figures like Leonardo da Vinci and similar concepts were utilized as late as World War II for launching anti-aircraft bombs. Number 6. Chakram the chakram, sometimes referred to as a chalikar, is an ancient Indian weapon dating back about 2,500 years. It served as a dual-purpose tool, both a circular throwing weapon and a defensive device for protecting the head and a turban. With a typical diameter of approximately 5.9 inches, that's 15 centimeters, a steel chakram could be thrown up to 200 feet or 60 meters, and brass ones even further. Designed to be perfectly circular with a sharpened outer edge, the chakram was capable of slicing through cloth or flesh upon impact. Warriors could throw multiple chakrams in rapid succession for increased damage. 
The throwing technique involved launching them forward and vertically to ensure they descended upon the enemy from above, minimizing the risk of friendly fire. The non-sharpened inner edge allowed for the chakrams to be spun around fingers or wrists to build momentum before being thrown, offering greater accuracy over long distances compared to arrows or spears. Number 5. Billhook Originally an agricultural tool, the billhook was adapted into a formidable medieval weapon. Its curved blade, resembling a sickle, was ideal for cutting through woody materials. In a military context, bill hooks were long poles with a hook-like blade mounted at one end, often accompanied by a spear tip and sometimes additional spikes for added effectiveness against cavalry and armor. During the 14th century, English armies favored billmen over pikemen, with bill hooks playing a crucial role in battles like the death of Scottish King James IV at the Battle of Flodden in 1513. Even today, bill hooks are issued to army recruits in various countries, not just for their combat effectiveness, but also for their versatility. In close-range combat, they can be more lethal than guns, and their blades are useful for tasks like cutting ropes and clearing undergrowth, making them essential for soldiers in challenging terrains or survival situations. Number 4. Lantern Shield during the Italian Renaissance in the 15th and 16th centuries, the lantern shield emerged as a significant tool in duels, especially during nighttime or early morning. Duels at this time posed a unique challenge, managing a sword in one hand and a lantern in the other to see and distract opponents. To address this impracticality, the lantern shield was invented. It combated a small circular shield known as a buckler with a hook to hang a lantern. Some designs included gauntlets, spikes, sword blades, and even mechanisms to adjust the lantern's brightness. While they are displayed in museums, historical records suggest lantern shields were mainly used by night guards in Italian cities rather than in actual combat. Subscribe and like the video, and let's go to the top three. Number 3. Chukonu Repeater Crossbow The Chukonu, an ancient Chinese invention, exemplifies the advanced weaponry design of its era, far surpassing contemporary global innovations. Also known as the Repeater Crossbow, it was a groundbreaking weapon dating back almost 2,000 years. The crossbow combined the actions of spanning, loading, and firing into one swift motion, significantly increasing the rate of fire compared to other period weapons. Common during the Ming Dynasty, it featured a gravity-fed, top-mounted magazine allowing for rapid reloading. The Chukonu had an effective range of about 230 feet or 70 meters, and a maximum range of 600 feet, that's 180 meters. Though not designed for offensive use, its capability to shoot up to 10 bolts in 20 seconds made it an effective defensive weapon, particularly in safeguarding gateways or doors. The bolts, although lighter and less lethal than larger bows, were often tipped with poison, making even minor wounds potentially fatal. Number 2. Kopesh Originating around 5,000 years ago, the Kopesh was a distinctive sword wielded by ancient Egyptians evolving from battle axes. This sickle-shaped sword offered greater versatility in combat, typically measuring 20 to 24 inches, that's 50 to 60 centimeters. The Kopesh had a sharpened outer edge, while the inner curve was designed for trapping an opponent's arm or disarming their shield. Its name, believed to mean leg, reflects the weapon's long-standing significance in Egyptian culture. Despite falling out of military use around 3,300 years ago, the Kopesh remained a ceremonial symbol often found in Egyptian burial sites, including Tutankhamun's tomb. Its cultural importance was such that it was mentioned in the Rosetta Stone, written in 196 BC. Number 1. Mambele the Mambele, a unique combination of a knife and axe, was a widespread weapon in Central and Southern Africa. Developed from throwing daggers, Mambele is varied in shape and size, often representing animal heads like birds. Made from rare materials, they not only served as weapons, but also as status symbols. 
Typically, a mambale had a main iron blade with a curved back and a rearward facing spike. It featured four blades, three pointing upwards and one on the side, and was about 22 inches or 56 centimeters long. The mambale was versatile, used both in close combat and as a throwing weapon. When thrown, its rotating motion caused deep, lethal wounds. It was integral to the Azande people's culture from the 18th century, used by professional warriors and as part of marriage dowries. In battle, soldiers carried multiple mambales behind their shields for an initial assault on enemies from a distance. Comment your favorite ancient weapon and unleash your wanderlust by watching our latest video. Cheers!